Hello dear friends, today I want to show you the USB Type-C enclosure for M.2 and VMI SSD drive. This model supports M.2 and VMI SSD drives and has a 10 gigabits per second USB Type-C connection, aluminum case, write protection and RGB lighting. Inside, you will find a user manual with graphics illustrating how to install your SSD into this enclosure. A promotional booklet featuring other Icy Box products. and another unnecessary documentation leaflet. A USB Type-C cable with an attached Type-A adapter. A screwdriver and mounting screws radiators and thermal pads and a fabric pouch for the device and of course the SSD drive enclosure itself the enclosure is made of aluminum and you can really feel the quality when you hold it On the front of the enclosure, you will see the Type-C connection and the right protection switch. We will talk about it later. At the back of the enclosure, you will only see the mounting screws. Hmm, a very high quality aluminum case. There are RGB LED strips along the edges of the enclosure. To be honest, the screwdriver isn't very convenient, but it gets the job done. The mounting plate comes out of the enclosure quite easily. Look how massive the aluminum case is. As you can see, you can use SSD drives of all sizes. So let's try to install the NVMe M.2 SSD drive. We insert it at 45 degree angle and attach it with the provided screws to the plate. The drive attaches strongly and doesn't move. Now let's try attach the thermal pad and a radiator. Two thermal pads are provided. The radiator is made of aluminum. Now let's peel off the protective film from the thermal pad. Carefully attach it to the SSD drive. Peel off the second protective film.
and attached the radiator. Everything is assembled. We insert the plate with SSD drive into the enclosure. Actually, I would like that the USB cable to fit more strongly and tightly. It feels light movement of the cable. The provided pouch accommodates the device and cable perfectly. We connect the drive to the computer and you can see how beautiful the RGB lights shining. Let's make a speed test. The speed is quite good. The device case is a little bit warm. If your computer doesn't have a USB Type-C port, no problem. You can connect the device with a provided USB Type-A adapter attached to the cable. Now let's talk about bright protection or, in other words, protection against accidental file erasing. Using the included needle, turn the switch to the right protection position. We connect the drive And as you can see, it's not possible to delete files on the disk. Also, this cannot be done using the keyboard. And now let's try to disable this protection. As you can see, now there is possible to delete or create files. Everything works like a regular data storage device. Thank you for watching, I hope it was interesting, bye.